Hi friends, Sarah here. Welcome back to another fall planning series. And today's video is a fun one. It's a DIY using your Happy Planner stickers to make cute little paper clips. Um, and then I have some that you can use for washi. And then we're also gonna fit in some fun shakers to make for your planners. So if you guys wanna check out this video, then keep on watching. Okay, so thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like and notification bell if you guys wanna see more videos from me. Okay, so this is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna share with you guys how to make paper clips especially for the fall or seasonal. You can definitely, you know, implement this tutorial um, for Christmas or the winter holidays. Um, so I thought it would be fun to share with you how to use your Happy Planner um, box stickers um, and then using um, some punches and using washi. So just assortment of ideas for you guys to get crafting and, you know, adding things to your planner. And we're going to be working with the mini happy planner. So that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. You can definitely change your measurements to um, your planner. Uh, so this will help you in the process of doing that. So this is the shaker we'll be um, learning how to do today. I'm going to share with you guys what you will need. And then also I did share this in a previous video on how to make this one and where you can get this in particular um, page protector is what this is, but this is a happy planner one. It's intended for memory keeping um, or any kind of like fall inspiration uh, page for your planner. But I shared with you guys how to make shakers because that's what I'm kind of into right now. And I thought this would be perfect for a fall planning series video. First, we're gonna start off with the shakers. So here's one that I've partially made that I'm gonna put in my October section of my planner because it's super cute it's um actually from happy illustration planner i just took the punched out spine part of the page and glued it to this clear uh, page protector and i actually took the divider of this planner insert and cut out the cat see super cute so this is the one that i plan to make for my planner and then so here's the page protector that I'm referring to you probably have these on hand um, I believe these are the Avery brand that you could get at Target um, but if you have any of these clear protective pockets this one's a little bit thicker so it's a little bit um, sturdier I think there are some that are at the Dollar Tree that are a little bit thinner I mean you could possibly use those it's just up to you it's preference but I just feel like these stand up a lot better when you have a thicker plastic. So basically this is what we're doing for the mini. Again, you can change this to the planner that you are carrying or using. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cardstock or you can take a already punched out divider from like an old or expired planner that you're not using, trim it down and you're going to um, adhere it to the page protector. Okay, so that's the one we're gonna be working on. And then as far as this cute little, easy, short, um, small shaker, we are going to use the adhesive pocket squares from the Target Dollar Spot. It was in the back to school area. Um, I think I've shared these with you guys. So if you can't find these, you might find something similar to this in your office supply store or something like that. But that's what this is. That's what I have here. I have an actual cardstock paper in there and I placed a wrong, wrong sticker on there and then I added the sequence. I added some clear stickers to the top here. I sealed it with scotch tape and then a, a decorative washi tape. And then I just added some more stickers. This is like a resin, um, like a resin sticker that's a little raised. And yeah, I've added some enamel stickers. You can find those in the paper crafting section at your craft stores. Super cute, right? Um, so I have some cardstock paper here that I've cut down to four by five. And then I've punched it out. 
Um, so it has five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. So these are like the Happy Planner Inspiration cards. And so I just went off the same size. You could definitely make it the entire mini Happy Planner size and do five, four and a half by, by seven or four by seven. Whatever you'd like because the card will still fit or the pocket will still fit on there. So basically that's what I did. So you'll definitely need a happy planner punch or you'll be punching these by your by hand and you will need a template uh, from your planner to help you guide your punches. So hopefully that makes sense. So you could definitely take the pocket. You're gonna cut out some cardstock paper for three by three and you can decorate the cardstock. I would definitely do white. If you're going to use clear stickers, if you're going to do a darker cardstock paper, you could do paper so it's easier to see the sticker. Or you could skip this all together and just fill it up with sequins, seal it up, and then you can decorate the, the outside of the pocket. Okay, so you'll definitely need some sequins or glitter. Um, you guys, if you've been watching my hauls, I've hauled and shared with you some ideas on where to get some. Target has some that you can find in their, you know, supply section or um, office supply section. And the Dollar Tree has some, like a full pack. Um, Hobby Lobby has some. Let's see, do I have one with the label on it? I just took this apart because I, I made a birthday card. I'm so excited. I've gotten back into making cards. It's been a long time. So, um, and then Michaels has these. These are more like small acrylic sprinkles or sequins. These have stars and hearts, really cute. Um, and then there's also glitter, which tape or lint rollers, really great for picking this up. Um, you could also put a sheet of paper or wax paper. I may do that before we get started so I don't get this everywhere. <laughs> um, Michaels has these by Recollections. And then to organize it, if you guys are just getting started, I found these at the Dollar Tree to keep them organized, especially if you're just wanting to do this every now and then. You don't want like a full collection. You could get these smaller ones because they do have larger ones, at, I think, at Joann's and stuff or Hobby Lobby. Okay, so these I think I found at Target a long time ago. These are larger confetti sequins. And I thought this one would be fun for this one here because it's such it's a large scale shaker that I'm making. You could also, there's another idea, you could put a background in here if you don't want it to be clear. Before you seal it, <laughs> make sure you, you have everything you envision for it and you could definitely do that and you can seal it. You don't even have to add sequins in here. You could definitely just make your own little clear pocket page, but if you don't like this white, add another sticker to the back or make sure it's double-sided um, cardstock paper. But I think I'm gonna leave it clear because I, I, I like the whole clear shaker look. I think that's cute. So I have like these larger purple sequins confetti I wanna add in there. These are different colors that I've had. Again, I got this at Target, I believe, a long time ago. And then I was thinking maybe some stars. I have these. And then I have these smaller packs. These were actually on a summer clearance section at Michael's. They were on like a sand, like those things you make with sand art. So I was like, what? And I grabbed these. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and put this together. Let's see. This one's kind of pretty. We'll do this one. Okay, some easy tools for you to have. Um, I use like a thick cardstock to slide it in there. You could actually use a straw to pick up the sequence and slide it in there. Let's say that if you had a smaller opening, this one's a really large opening, but I'm probably gonna seal it here and then put the smaller ones on top. But like for instance, this one, when I did this one, I had to use a straw or I used this cardstock to scoop it in there. Or you could use a spoon, one of like a small, kind of like those sample spoons. You can also get these at the Dollar Tree to use as your mixing 
<laughs> kind of like cooking, I don't know. Like your mixing bowl, right? So you're gonna put your sequence in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, I'm trying to get it to shake where I can get an idea if that's plenty or not. Probably a little bit more, this color. Okay, so I think with this one, the scotch tape works really well up top. So I'm gonna um, seal the top with scotch tape and I think I'm gonna seal the side with the sturdier double-sided tape because it blocks the confetti. I'm gonna use the double-sided tape here. It comes on a roll. I get mine at Daiso because honestly, for the price, I get this whole roll for like $1.50 but you can get this at Michael's and definitely use a 20% off. That's all they have going on right now. I don't know what's going up with Michael's right now and the coupons. So I just measure it out. Place that in there. Okay, so I try to get in there as close as I could. You guys can see that. All right. I'm definitely not a professional here. It just, this is what happens when you get creative and you get crafting. You learn from your mistakes. You learn as you go. Uh, you change things up that works. So I'm not a professional here. Okay, so now we're gonna add in the smaller one. And I think I'm just gonna use my little card here. It's so much easier. Shake a little bit at a time. Put in there. I just wanna get an idea, so start slow. So now I have the Hobby Lobby one. This came in a three pack and I just like the purple tones in here. I wanna add this one in here just to see what it's gonna look like. I mean, now that I've mixed it with the smaller one, it would be hard to take them out. That's pretty, that's so cute. Okay, here just playing with it. I'm gonna add just a little bit more Take my scotch tape, measure it out. I kind of eyeball it. And it's kind of staticky. You're gonna do it horizontally so you can flip it over and I didn't measure it all the way. It's, a, it's okay. Cause then I'm just gonna flip it over like that. And the scotch tape really does help keep it sealed. Cause then also you can add washi to it. And then this really helps, it's called a, um, a bone folder, I think. Yeah, it's for paper crafting. Kinda seals it. That's pretty much it. That's how I make these. <laughs> That's how I seal it. Of course, I can't really see well, guys. So when you do it, you won't have all these major creases. And you can cut it. Again, you can cover it with washi. You can cover it with paper. Not a big deal, but you can see you made a shaker. How fun! And it may stick to the tape from the inside, but that's fine. It's just something fun to make for your planner, or you could definitely make these with your kids. 
You can make bookmarks. Cute. This was the planner that I used. It's Happy Illustration. It was from here. And you can definitely, you don't have to punch something out. You could use um, a planner divider from your big planners because that's easier because it has, I think, 11 on here. Um, so you're going to cut that out and put that on the edge. Oh, I actually put washi on the back of this one. I didn't even notice that, but you could do that here. You could add washi. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. So hopefully that gives you an idea how to make your own little shaker pocket. Okay. So for fall inspired stickers, I have a bunch to share. So I have the, um, the two new ones from Happy Planner. I will have a flip through video of these if you guys are interested. But this is fall and Halloween. I have these are essential. Um, these are the slim Happy Planner stickers that you can find at Joann's and I believe Hobby Lobby and definitely check their website. But these are great because I've always mentioned these because the stickers are really small and they're easy to work with. And I have some fun ones that are seasonal um, ones. They have like pumpkins and Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas or winter and summer because they're seasonal ones. So I have that one. And I have this one that says, Tis the Season. Then I have, these are kind of like planner fun accents. Like um, the squad one that came out, Squad Goals, has a lot of cute planner um, coffee cups and glasses and phones and just planners. Just really cute stuff to add to your creation there. This one has books and pencils and little pets you know if you're a book reader this would be a cute one and then this one has like teacups and coffee cups this is an older one this one you might have to hunt down at a hobby lobby or something i got this one i think last year oh this is 2017. this one may be harder to find then this one i thought would be cute doesn't really oh love your selfie oh sorry guys love your selfie <laughs> drinks bookish squad goals seasons love the seasons i will try to list those below i apologize okay so this one i thought was cute love yourself because it has donuts i think that's cute okay then this one's i recommended this in my uh fall seasonal planner essential stickers this one's really great it does have some tiny ones in here as well Um, where is it? Oh my gosh. Here it is. See how tiny they, those are? There's some leaves, coffee cups, pie, and apple. I wish we got more pumpkins. Those are my favorite. And then Happy Year. I believe these are in Clarence at Michael's. This has some great fall stickers in there. Handwritten, I think, is good because it just has a lot of great little cute sayings that is, you know, planner life related. So that's a cool one. And then this one I got at Hobby Lobby. It was in my Clarence Hall. Um, this one's a really old one too, but it was on Clarence. And this one came out in 2017. Fall, this one came out last year. This has some good ones. And then Squad Life. Okay, so let me try to get an idea of what we are doing, actually. I kind of want to use the new ones because they're so cute. Okay. Maybe we'll do, we'll stick with the cat theme. Because it's just so cute. I know there's kitties in here. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to use the skull. This is a paper pad that I've shared in my haul. Hopefully you guys have been loving those. Okay. So let's, oh my gosh, this cat is so cute. Uh, let's see, which one should I use? So let's put this clear pocket on the front. So it's like this. If you find these, I hope you, hopefully you guys find these. 
just gonna stick that on there. And see now it's clear and you can add your sequence and you can, you know, um, close it up and then you'll be done. This is actually an easier one, but I think I'm gonna decorate the inside. I actually could just do this one, spooky feline. That's fine, that actually fits perfect. Cute. <laughs> okay, I know, I'm weird. I'm your biggest crafty planner nerd. Okay, that's so cute. And then I would add clear or paper stickers to the front of the pocket. Probably some bats or stars. Um, if you have Stargazer, anything from that collection has some really cute stuff. Especially for Halloween. I think those sticker books would be, like, really cute. Oh, this one actually has ha um, Happy Halloween. Do I have two of these? I think I have two of these. Good, because I like that. Feline Spooky. Oh, does that mean like feeling spooky, happy Halloween? Oh my gosh. I'm crazy. My kids would hear, they'd be laughing at me. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, what about a pumpkin? Okay, cute. Okay, so we've decorated the front portion. How quick and easy that is. Now we can add our sequence, which I probably will add some glitter what I did here okay so for this one I think I want to try to use the glitter um, because it's such a smaller pocket I've learned that if I put too much it doesn't move around and then also it just gets stuck and I just think the finer sequence or mix works better so then I'm gonna take these green stars from this one again I got this one from Michaels it's so cool um, card here that I've used. I think this is actually, this is like packaging. It's um, that laminated cardstock paper. I think this is from packaging that I kept. I'm always recycling and using things. Again, you can use this or um, you can use a straw. You can cut it at an angle and stick that in there. I'm gonna do it this way move this out of the way oh my gosh it's so cute okay so I don't know if I've used this one yet and it has like a salt and pepper thing at the top but it's just easier to screw off the top for me and just add it here Take it off the paper so I don't move the paper and it falls. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay, let's add the green stars. Open it up. There we go. So you can, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but these are kind of like um, little plastic or like little acrylic stars. It's a heavier material. Now, because I didn't glue this cardstock paper down, that's something to consider too. If you want to add some adhesive to the back of your cardstock paper, so it doesn't like, um, the glitter doesn't get behind it and you want it just to flow in the front. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna keep it like this. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay. What do you guys think? 
I went with purple and green because there's orange and the, the kitty and stuff, and those are like your traditional colors for Halloween. Um, I think I might add a little bit of these stars that I put in my other pocket or shaker that we just did. I think the stars are really fun for Halloween. Okay. Okay, cute. All right. I think it's got enough in there. I love it. Super fun. Okay. These are the things that make me happy, except for when my nails scratch things. Oh my gosh. I got color on there. I wonder if I could take a pencil and erase that. Or sticker. I'll add a sticker to that to fix that. Okay. Super cute. All right. Let me close these up so I don't spill them. I'm going to use double-sided tape, but I'm actually going to cut this in half. Because... They do, the, they actually do sell these. Uh, if you get red line tape, it's actually like clear red line tape at Michael's. It comes really thin and that is so much easier to work with. Learn that these tweezers really help to, to, for me to lay it in there flat, especially when I was, um, I had made a friend a shaker you guys probably know her, Danielle, on Instagram. Um, I had to like um, use these tweezers to, to lay it in there. Okay, now I'm just adding washi to cover that up. And that, I like this washi. I think this is from the, it's Happy Planner, but it was, for, it was part of a collection. I think it's one of the budget collections or it's um, one of the healthy, goals collection super cute i like the color and it looks like it's sealed awesome you could also add another sticker here or more washi and do some layering of this really tiny one this is also from happy planner and then i have this pumpkin one from Uh, plan anything subscription box planner subscription that's super cute um, and then you can also if you wanted to match it up you could add some down here Let's see if that will look right probably not because it actually takes away from that um, someone asked me about a planner subscription box that is just simply a monthly box that you get it's actually from plan anything but it what it is is that you get a box of planner goodies like stickers paper pouches and it just has a lot of goodies that you get monthly it could be a seasonal box. It could be a certain theme. Okay, that is adorable. Okay, so that's how you make this, guys. Um, for your planner, so you're just going to take some cardstock paper. I'm sure you could, again, find, like, these clear type of label boxes. I mean, pockets. That's what this is. A label pocket from your local office supply store. Um, and if it doesn't have adhesive on the back, you could totally just add some on there. Um, but that is how you make a fun shaker. So that one's kind of easier, a little cardstock on there. And then here's the larger one that we made. I hope you guys are enjoying this video because it's definitely going to be a long one. So save this video for a craft night, <laughs> planner craft night. Okay, so now let's work on paper clips. 
Hey friends, hello and welcome to part two of this um, fall planning series and these are DIY paper clips. Now I have some already made and um, some of them are Halloween-ish and well they're definitely Halloween and the other ones are fall. Um, so I'm going to share with you guys how to make these cute circle ones and then um, turning your happy planner box stickers into paper clips for your planner. You can use them for photos on Instagram. Um, you can stick them in your, your um, covers of your planners just right there in the front for planner decor or in your planner on the top or on the side. I don't know. I just thought this would be a fun um, little crafty planner project to share with you. So this one I have for my planner right now. It says read Halloween books and I put little bookish stickers. These are from the Happy Planner bookish stickers. This one is from, let me see. So that is from last year's fall release sticker book. It has really cute, like bucket list or seasonal things that you would do around this time of year. So those are cute. Decorate um, because you can use your Happy Planner stickers that are just like, um, just like a background, like this one. So that's kind of what I did here. This was just a background um, that I got from, I believe, this sticker pad from the student seasonal sticker book that came out at Michael's back to class. So you can use those. So again, I have my little tray here full of things that I needed, you know, tiny sticker pads because those have um, easy go-to box stickers, some fall washi, some assorted paper clips. I have E6000 to use, or you can use hot glue or any adhesive you'd like, um, double-sided tape, a tape runner. And then I've pre-punched some um, cardstock or pattern paper, um, and then adhesive circles, half adhesive circles on Avery label sticker paper. I've used the Happy Planner Punch for the classic. Um, because that's what this size is and then a one inch punch and a 1.5 or one and a half punch these you can find at Hobby Lobby that's where I got those also what's the easiest way is this is not my idea um, so I just want to put that out there before I get the planner or crafty police on my butt Anywho, um, so these came out in the Happy Planner Teresa Collin boxes, and this is like the easiest way to make a paper clip because they're puffy adhesive stickers, and they're the same shape. So if you are at the craft store and you have like puffy stickers that you see that you love or 3D um, stickers, you know, but remember you're putting this in your planner. So if you like chunky planners, I do. Because I change mine out all the time, especially in a mini. I only do like six months um, or a couple months, depending on how much I have in here. But anyways, um, I think the 3D ones would be a little too too big, but that's up to you. You know, you're, you're your own person. You love your planner the way that it is. But these puffy ones are not that, you know, they're a little flat. So anyhow, you just take one back to back and you have a cute... Uh, paper clip for your planner and I know happy planner has other ones These are a little bit heavier, but these are really cute. These would make a cute gift um, if someone in You know someone that you know in the planner community or doesn't have to be in the planner community loves baking You could take both of these if they're the same Because sometimes when you reverse it though, it depends see that one would work um, And then there's planner babe, so the circle ones are easy so you could do that Okay, so really quick, I'm going to share these up close. So I did this one. That's actually, I punched out paper and I layered it with another sticker, a circle sticker that's actually from Squad Life. Kind of tabbed it here. So you can use those and that's super easy and quick. All you have to do is punch out your circle and you need two pieces and you'll glue them back to back. Um, you could use another pattern paper or put another sticker there if that bugs you. Um, but in this one, you're going to put the paper clip, paper clip in between the two circle um, papers. For the square, um, I decided to um, punch out your Avery 
label sticker paper <laughs> comes in handy because it's adhesive. It's kind of a strong ad adhesive and you're just gonna punch out half of a circle and that's your backing. So here's this one. This one is in the back to class release in this seasonal sticker pad. And I actually put some glitter glue on there or it's called stickles. You let it dry. And then here's this one that has, uh, it's a Happy Planner sticker and it was blank. And I added Happy Planner stickers on it. Don't forget dinner. <laughs> so that's a little cute, funny mom joke, I guess. Um, and then another way to do these circle ones is washi. So you're gonna take two um, white cardstock paper and you're gonna lay your washi down and then cut around it. Then you have some cute fall stickers using your fall washi. So you can use up all your fall washi, especially if you have lots of Simply Gilded. I've just become addicted to that washi line. So um, I may use some new of my new Halloween washi to make paper clips. Another way to use um, some adhesive, you could use a pop dot or um, there's those little adhesive squares or circles. You put that in between. So it's kind of like a 3D sticker. And again, this is a Happy Planner sticker. Oh, and then I have this one. This one's really cute. Um, it has my initial. This is from the Happy Planner Alphabet stickers. And then with this little cute one, I actually used um, a white gel pen to give the little candy corns eyes. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. So I think there's some stickers in here that I'd like to use to share with you guys. Some fall themed stickers. Okay, so I've put together um, these particular paper clips. I think they're really cute. I didn't use the other ones. Um, now I got some wax paper and I'm gonna see if I want to decorate any of these. Probably this one, maybe add something here. Um, so we're gonna flip through some sticker books and see what we can do. All right, it took me forever to find a sticker, but I was playing around with this one. And a lot of these stickers, as you guys saw in the video, is from the last year's fall seasonal book. Um, so I wasn't really liking what I was finding because I was like, oh, I want to put something here because there's like white space and I know I can find something. So as I was about to give up, at the bottom of this sticker page, here it is. Okay. This little box here on this page uh, said hello fall on one sticker and I uh, cut it in half and placed it on here hello fall because I thought that was better than some of the other ones that were in here okay and then we have this wreath that I can put on this this background one I think that would look really pretty and then these are actually super clear I've never really used these these little circle ones. That's kind of perfect. Let me see. Okay, if you get this one, maybe it's better to lay that one first and then the reef. And then for this one, uh, I couldn't find anything that would you could see it on the background. Paper works better, kind of like this one. I thought this doggy was cute. You can kind of see him. And these flo uh, flowers, these leaves look like they're falling. So that's pretty. Okay, let me just cut this. 
and cut that. And you guys saw if you don't have paper pads and you don't, you know, do a lot of paper crafting, just use some of your old dividers from your previous Happy Planners. Um, that's what I did here for the backing. Okay, so we're just gonna put one together. So here's this one. I have this rose gold paper clip and I'm just gonna place it on the back here. Oops. And I'm gonna add one of these cut out, what I already have cut out. So if you want a more secure one, go with the one and a half punch. That's what this one is. It's a little of a larger circle. And you can add some E6000 first, then add the paper clip, um, and then your sticker paper. Again, this is the Avery Label sticker paper. I think if you're in the planner community, you know about it because everybody uses this for something. Um, it's just, it's really sticky. Okay, the tricky part is making sure that it's centered. And then what I like to do is I take my bone folder and just kind of crease around it to just flatten the sticker with the paper. And also what you can do is you take something heavy. Um, if you have a coaster or if you have like stamping acrylic blocks, you can just let that set. Um, or again, you can add just a little bit of E6000. There you go. There's your cute little paper clip. And it only took, you know, um, some paper and then your Happy Planner stickers, which that one was for the back. But how cute is that? You can make these for Happy Mail. You can send these out for gifts, for a swap. Um, again, you can put them in your planner. But those are some fall inspiration ones. Um, because I know I, not a lot of people ce celebrate Halloween, and I did these for myself here. Um, so now let's do a washi one real quick, because I already shared with you guys ideas on these, and they're pretty simple. Again, you're just going to punch out some paper using punches, or if you're really good at cutting circles out, you can do that too. Um, again, you can use same dimension stickers and stick them side by side. Um, so we'll do a washi one. I'm going to go ahead and clear my space so we can do this washi one and I'll do these later. But how cute are those? hope you guys enjoyed um, this tutorial. Definitely give it a thumbs up. And super cute. Sorry about the noise in the background. I live by such a busy street. It's insane. Okay. So I picked my three washies that I look cute, really fallish, and I wanted it to match this one. And yep, super easy. You just add your washi, um, depending on the sizes, will depend on the layers. So, and then you just cut around it. Um, you can save your washi and put it on wax paper and just use it for your planner spreads. Um, okay, so now I kind of zoomed in a little close so you guys can see that I'm just going to add this E6000 and this you will have to let set and dry um, or we'll use some of these adhesive um, dots but because they're puffy it'll be like this one and you'll have that but if that doesn't bother you you could go that route and I haven't used like double-sided tape or adhesive runner to because I'm not sure of the strength. So I'm not sure if how that would work. Or stay. Stay or stick. Not really sure. I haven't used it. I usually just use E6000 because it's kind of like um, hot glue. But it's, you know, you don't have to plug it in or anything. Yeah, it's 
up to the top. And <laughs> always forget when I do this sideways, make sure that it's centered and not at a diagonal. So I have to let mine set, but that is the idea of how to make these. Just pinch the side. Because I did have to leave these like for a day on my desk to, actually let me put all the way around it, to dry and set. Where is my block? Oh, here it is. Okay, planner friends, that concludes my fall planning series videos. This one was really fun. I hope you give it a try and share it with a friend or a family member. So the shakers were really fun. I hope you give it a try and make it your own. Um, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. I have some October plans with me coming up soon. And so take care and thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.